Good morning, I'm Teacher Rose and welcome to the second quarter of Contemporary Philippine Arts from the region. So for today's lesson, we're going to discuss the different contemporary art techniques and performance practices. So many contemporary artists do not have formal studies in the fine arts. Many of them are self-taught, concerned with the development of their talent and skills in art making. They study on their own interact with artists and read a lot about the lives of artists and their artworks. They also explore the materials in hardware stores, experiment with chemical reaction and their base materials. Some hire resin makers, house painters and materials fabricators to help them in constructing artworks. In this lesson, we will learn the meaning of artistic skill and technique through actual and hands-on activities we will also learn the artist's choice of materials and how they use these materials are the heart the heart of making art and that this involves process and transformation at the end of the lesson you are expected to number one explain the meaning of medium material and techniques ways of handling materials as an important component of art form through actual and hands-on activities appreciate how artists differ from one another in their choice of materials and techniques of handling materials create an artwork that demonstrate knowledge of form as a process of transformation requiring skill imagination knowledge of contemporary materials and techniques and competence in techniques so our competency is researches on techniques and performance practices applied to contemporary arts with a broadening uh, broadening of the art world many people are getting confused about what qualifies an artistic skills so artistic skills are abilities that possessed by artists who operate within a fine art capacity. So each artist uses different mediums to develop their artistic skills. A medium is defined as the material or the substance out of which a work is made. And through these materials, the artists express and communicate feelings and ideas. So the medium also defines the nature of the art form. So here are the nature or the different nature of the art form. Number one is sculpture. Sculptures fall within the category of three-dimensional arts because they occupy space and have volume. They use as metal, wood, stone, clay, and glass. And pottery is a form of sculpture. Aside, it, yeah, aside for that, there are ritual objects such as bulur wood carvings in the Cordillera. Another example are nudes of figures such as Gulliariel, Metolentina, Sublation, and some santos or carving of saints in different Christian churches. Number two is an architect. So an architect uses wood, bamboo, brick, stone, concrete, and various building materials. So buildings are also called three-dimensional. However, architecture has the added element of time since we move into structures. Painter. So painter uses pigments like watercolor, oil, tempera, textile, paint, acrylic, ink, etc. on a usually flat ground, wood canvas, paper, stone walls such as cave, Painting. Printmaker. So prints and paintings are part of classified as two-dimensional arts because they include the surface or ground on which coloring substances are applied. The use is ink, printed or transferred on a surface, wood, metal plates or silk screen. However, while paintings are unique and one of a kind, prints can be reproduced in several predetermined editions. Next is the musician. 
Some musicians use the sound and instrument, including human voice, while the dancer uses the body. An example of music or the tibula, uh, musician are uh, the tibula chanter sings a creation stories in a way that is different from a classical singer of pop music influenced by the western music scale dancer so dancer uses the body and its movement dance is often accompanied by music dance can tell stories but the other times they convey abstract ideas that do not rely on a narrative. Chatter artists. So chatter artists integrates all the arts and uses the stage, production design, performance elements, and script to enable the visual, musical, dance, and other aspects to come together as a whole work. Photographer and filmmaker. So photographer use the camera to record the outside world. The filmmaker uses the cinematographic camera to record and put together production design, sound, engineering, performance, and screenplay. In digital photography and a film, the images can be assimilated into the computer, thus eliminating the need for celluloid or negatives processing chemicals or rinse. The writer, the writer, the novel writer, poetry, nonfiction, and fiction uses words. And the other allied arts like the designer, the performance artist, and installation artist combine use of the range of materials above. So that's all, that's are the nature of art form. Ah. Next is the techniques. So techniques is the way artists use and manipulate materials to achieve the desired formal effect and communicate the desired concept or meaning according to his or her personal style. It can be modern, neoclassic, or others. The distinctive character of nature of the medium determines the techniques. So techniques involve tools and technology ranging from most traditional, for example, carving, silkscreen, analog photography, and filmmaking to the most contemporary digital photography, digital filmmaking, music production, industrial design, and robotics. Here are some of our techniques used by an artist. So number one is collage. Collage is the technique of an art production used in the visual arts where the artwork is made from on assemblage of different form thus creating a new whole. Collage may sometimes include magazine and newspaper clippings, ribbons, paints, bits of colored or handmade papers, portion of other artwork or text, photographs and other found objects glued to a piece of paper or canvas. Opposite to collage is the collage. Instead of an image being built up of all parts of existing images, it is created by cutting, treating away, or otherwise removing pieces of an original image. So, decollage is a French word. It means in English is to take off, or to become unglued, or to become unstuck. So, an example of decollage include cut-up technique, similar technique, is the lacerated poster a poster in which one has been over another next is graffiti graffiti are writing or drawings that have been scribed scratched or painted illicitly on a wall or other surface open in a public space graffiti range from simple written words to elaborate wall paintings open in a public space so, graffiti may express underlying social and political messages and a whole of artistic expression is based spray paint graffiti style. Uh, they use base spray paint. Next is land art or earthworks or earth art. It's an art movement in which landscape 
and the work of art are inextricably linked. Here is also an, uh, an art form that is created in nature using natural materials such as soil, rock, bedrock, boulders, stones, or organic media like logs, branches, leaves, and water which introduce materials such as concrete, metal asphalt, or mineral pigments. Next is digital art. Digital art is an artistic work or practice that uses digital technology as an essential part of the created or presentation process. Digital art is work made with digital technology or presented on digital technology. This includes images done completely on computer or hand-drawn images is scanned into a computer and finished using a software program like Adobe Illustrator. Digital art also can involve animation and 3D, virtual sculpture rendering as well as projects that combine several technologies. Some digital arts involve manipulation or video images. After some resistance, the impact of digital technology has transformed activities such as painting, drawing, sculpture, and music sound art, while new forms such as net art. Next is mixed media. Mixed media is refers to a work of visual art that combines various traditionally distinct visual art. For example, work on canvas that combines paint, ink, and collage. So when creating a painted or photograph work using mixed media, it is important to choose the layers carefully and allow enough dying time between the layers to ensure the final work will have structurally integrity. Many effects can be achieved by using mixed media. Found object can be used in conjunction with the traditional artist to attain a wide range of self-expression. Print making. So print making is the process of making artworks by painting normally in the paper. Prints are created by transforming ink from a matrix ink from a matrix or through a prepared screen to a sheet of paper or other material. Common types of matrices include metal plates, usually copper or zinc, or polymer plates for engraving or etching, stone aluminum or polymer for lithography, block of wood, scraps, and wood graving, and linoleum for linocuts. Screen-made silk or synthetic fabrics are used for the screen printing process. Next is protage. Protage is the technique of rubbing with crayon crayon on a piece of paper which has been placed over an object or an image. So the impression of the image can be created using leaves, woods, white screen, or metal with embossed image or words. Next is the calcoma. The, cal the calcomania is the process of applying gauze of paper or glass then transferring a rehearsal of the image onto canvas or other plat materials. Decopads is done by adhering cut out of paper and then coating this with one or transferring coating of varnish. Eggshell mosaic is an artistic technique that uses tiny parts of eggshell to create a whole image or object. So mosaic are usually assembled using small tiles that are square, but they can also be found on randomly shaped. Trapunto painting is the technique used by Pasita Abad where her canvases are padded, soon, and often filled with sequin, beads, shell, buttons, tiny mirror, bits of glass, rickrack, swatches, or precious textiles, and other things that she fixed up for her travels and journey. Okay. So those are the different art 
technique used by the artist. So art is considered an artifact when it is directly experienced and perceived. It can be spatial and static or unmoving like painting or building or a novel or time based and in motion like live theater production mobile sculpture to know the full meaning of a work it is also necessary to study the material from which it is made and how it is made and to summarize our lessons many contemporary artists do not have formal studies in the fine arts Many of them are self-taught, concerned with the development of their talent and skills in art making. They study on their own, interact with artists, and read a lot about lives of artists and their work. And to end our lesson for today, a man is wrecked by new ideas may never return to its original dimension by Oliver Wendell Holmes Jr. Thank you and see you next meeting.